sometimes I forget what to say and I get behind this camera and I'm just like, what was I supposed to say? I guess I should start off by saying, what's going on everyone? Welcome to my channel. My name is Jossie Lynn J, but you can just call me Jossie or you could call me Ja. Just kidding, no one calls me that. First off, I wanna say that I'm praying that everyone and their loved ones, your friends and family are staying safe and healthy during these difficult times. But uh, I'm hopeful, I'm faithful, and I know that we are gonna get through this, especially if we continue to look out for each other. On a brighter note, I'm excited to announce that this video is sponsored by Skillshare. Let me just take a sip of tea for that one. I feel like a legit YouTuber now saying this video is being sponsored by Skillshare. Skillshare is an online community with thousands of amazing and inspiring courses for the curious and creative. And let's not forget the technical. You can explore new skills, deepen passions and skill sets that you already have and get lost in creativity. So if you are watching this video, I am assuming that you're interested in front end development. So you're probably someone who's curious about the software developer world, or you could be a graphic designer or UI UX designer who wants to start building things with code, or you could be a fed up backend developer or a fed up full stack developer. I'm, I'm only kidding, I'm only kidding, not fed up. But maybe you are someone who enjoys visuals, but you also enjoy the technical side of things. So you wanna merge the two passions together and boom, we have front end development. Okay, it's not that simple, but it's a little bit more abstract than that, but that's kind of like a good imagery. Is that the right word? I don't think it is. The different type of software development jobs that are out in the world can be a bit, I don't want to say intimidating. It can be pretty intimidating, especially nowadays because there's so many like niche jobs. There are so many frameworks out there. There's so many parts of the stack you can program in. And that's one thing they don't teach you in school because in school you're focusing on data structures, the fundamentals, the basics, algorithms, data analysis, a lot of sorting, a lot of sorting. You don't really get exposure to the different types of software development jobs that are available and that are out there. So you either have to watch a video like this to get an idea of how you can become a front end developer or you learn through your full time experience or your internship experience. And if you don't really know what front end development is from like a 10,000 foot view, think of it as a way to implement designs through code. Think of it as creating the end user experience. Ugh. What's going on everyone? It's Jossie here from the future and um, my whipped cream is all gone but I tried to make like a white chocolate mocha and it tastes pretty good. It tastes pretty good but that's not why I'm here. I'm here to let you know that the first thousand people who click this link that'll be down in the description box will get two free months of Skillshare Premium. So yeah, I definitely recommend clicking that link and getting that two free months of premium access to Skillshare. And one of the main reasons is because just starting, signing up for that membership and even watching 10 minutes of a course can take you a long way because you'll be educated on a topic that you might have not known much about beforehand. Like watching a 60 minute course that I'm gonna talk about later on in this video has helped me a ton, especially when it comes to passion projects and just my overall career in general. I also wanna let you know that for those of you all who wanna take it to the next step, and you're like, yeah, I wanna be a front end developer and I wanna have an annual membership, that an annual membership is less than $10 a month. All right, I'm gonna finish this coffee and finish editing this video so I can get it out to you as soon as possible. If you wanna become a front-end developer, there are three different languages that you definitely need to know. And that will be HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Like, that's pretty obvious. It's pretty standard nowadays to know HTML5, CSS3, and JavaScript. I'll never forget, I was interested in doing front end development and I was at the National Society of Black Engineers conference and I was talking to a software engineer at Twitter and he saw my experience and thought I would be a potentially a good fit and 
he was like, tell me something about CSS3. Tell me something about HTML5. Like I had to think of it like right away. And the reason why I'm talking about this is this experience is because you gotta know those things like the back of your hand. At this point, CSS and HTML have almost become a whole language with just those two together. You could do some really powerful things with CSS and SAS. You're gonna wanna know those three languages, that is for sure, like I just mentioned, that is a standard. And then the next thing that I would recommend doing is try to find a framework that you are interested in, or I would say a operating system or programming language that you are interested in. So like if you love mobile development and you wanna do front-end development, then along with your HTML, CSS, and JavaScript skills, I would definitely learn languages like Angular, learn languages like React, and you could also learn you know, native languages like Swift, and you know Java for Android Studio. And the reason why you want to make sure that you know some frameworks is because you want to you want to stand out, and not just frameworks, but you want to have some sort of niche so you can stand out amongst the crowd. Knowing HTML, CSS, and JavaScript is great, but these companies nowadays are using JavaScript frameworks. They're using JavaScript libraries like React to build their applications. They're using you know Swift, and they're using Java and Python and a lot of different languages. And you're gonna wanna know those languages so they can feel confident that you can come into the job and take your design knowledge and your technical programming knowledge and apply those two together to create software. talked about the skill sets that you need to have if you want to be a front-end developer. So the next step is actually exploring those new skill sets and gaining them so you can add them to your resume. So I thought it'd be a perfect time to talk about the sponsor of this video, Skillshare, and how their online community can help you become a front-end developer. I have my laptop with me almost everywhere I go now to be productive so even if I'm like waiting for something to finish cooking or I'm watching a Netflix show I might watch a course or do some research on like some sort of programming topic but I wanted to talk to you about this really great course that will help you become a front-end developer because it teaches you the essentials of JavaScript and it's actually called the JavaScript toolkit write cleaner faster and better code by Chris Hellman who is a senior developer at Microsoft. It really doesn't get any more credible than that. I've been programming in JavaScript for the past like three years you could say so I'm not an expert by any means but I do know a good amount of JavaScript and how it's being used but in this course I learned so much and not just like syntax and different things like that. I actually learned how people are using JavaScript. How can I apply JavaScript to my day to day? Where can I go so I can continuously stay up to date with the new implementations of JavaScript? And in this course, Chris Hellman has a few things that were really noteworthy to me that I wanna to talk to you all about. And the first thing is how JavaScript is being used. That's one thing I don't think about. Like, not everyone is using JavaScript to just animate HTML elements or manipulate the DOM. Some people are actually using JavaScript to build out web applications and even mobile applications depending on what JavaScript library or framework they're using. JavaScript has evolved more than just manipulating the DOM or rendering different things on web pages. And I knew that because I had been programming in Angular for like about a year to a year and a half. But one thing that he highlighted is that in HTML5, HTML stack has become more reliant on JavaScript than ever before. And I never thought about that. So the big takeaway from that point is that JavaScript is everywhere and think of it as a platform or an environment. Another thing that was a highlight to me that was a really big takeaway from this was your JavaScript Zen. This, this idea of 
having a JavaScript specialty. I think so many times we think about like a higher level of being specialized, like, oh, I'm specialized as an iOS, you know, UI developer. I'm specialized as a backend developer. I'm specialized as a web app developer. But JavaScript is everywhere and it's being used at so many different companies that it's good to find a niche within the JavaScript world. And if you're someone like myself who's been programming in JavaScript for the last couple of years, you might have found yourself overwhelmed with the amount of things that you can build with JavaScript. And he talked about if you're interested in building web pages, like mostly static web pages, then maybe you should focus in on building websites. And then the next thing he talked about is if you're someone who's interested in architecture, basically building enterprise, it doesn't even have to be enterprise software, but building applications that, you know, can create, read, update, delete information. Then maybe you should focus in on JavaScript frameworks and libraries like Angular and React. And then he talked about if you're interested in APIs and server side stuff, then Node.js would be a good thing for you to learn and niche down on. And that was refreshing. Like, I can't believe I never actually sat and thought about like, okay, what type of JavaScript do I want to program? Or what kind of JavaScript do I want to implement into my solution? What kind of app developer do I want to be when it comes to JavaScript? So as you can see, Skillshare offers classes that are designed for real life and all the circumstances that come with it. There are a few other courses that I'm going to recommend and leave them linked down below in the description box. First one is CSS Essentials. Getting started with CSS Grid, that's something you definitely want to know. You're going to want to have that skill set because you want to be able to create really any layout that any employer would like for you to create or would need for you to create. So CSS Grid is a powerful skill set and a powerful tool to have in your tool belt. The other is personal branding essentials, making the most of Squarespace. This is important, especially for front end development because we are visual people and whoever is hiring you is probably a visual person too. And you wanna make sure that you stand out amongst your peers and other people who are applying for jobs. So you wanna make sure that you have a personal website. And if you're using Squarespace and not building it yourself, you wanna make sure that it looks really, really good and use some custom CSS and even JavaScript if you need to, to customize your website. That way that can be a talking point in your interview. So that concludes this video. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it at all. Share it with someone who you think might benefit from it and comment down below some of your experience learning new languages. Or if you are a front end developer, comment down below some of your experiences as a front end developer or some helpful tips that you might have. And with that being said, that concludes this video. I will see you all soon and as always, Stay blessed and make sure that you're staying safe and healthy. Peace.